Profit muscle. What's happening, Puff? I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. <laughs> yeah. Jermaine Dupree, king of the pedophiles, if you ask me, baby. <laughs> Shh. Jermaine Dupree, small as a child. If I was fucking Jenny, she'd already have a child. <laughs> you grown ass niggas with gap teeth that need braces. <laughs> Rappers, I'll be like, yo, yo, Fox and I came. What? what? Puffs in there. So <laughs> it's kind of, I'm like, damn, it's crazy, man. So, what I did was, I would show up to the party in my little, uh, in a little town car. That's town, you know, I grabbed me a town car so I could skirt. Puff the SUVs and the road, and the Bentleys, the whole night. He get out. I get out too with a camera. The big cannon, like, yo, Puff, I should document this shit, right? <laughs> yo, what's up, Playboy? <laughs> what, what, what you talking about? I said, no, I should get this, man. You, Fonz, for the whole nine. He says, uh, yeah, let him through. Excuse me. So I get that. <laughs> but at that time, it wasn't like the little camera y'all got in. It was the big intrusive cannon. I had a battery pack. Hold on, man. Let me change the pack. Put my light on here. Do that again, Puff. Do that again. I missed that one. Do that again. Put the pack. So I started following him. So I followed him the whole time. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I'm filming this. And it's a pool party that is ridiculous, man. And I look up and I see Dr. Ruth. I don't know if you know who that is. The, se the sex? The sex lady. <laughs> the sex lady. I see Dr. Ruth. I said, Miss Ruth, could you please come over here? This guy by the name of Sean Peter D. Combs. I need you to come meet him. I need this for my camera. Dr. Ruth and Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel pool dance, doing their thing, right? And you know what they dancing to? Over in the corner. In the corner, Puffy sleeping with Kevin Hart and Usher. Man, don't, don't sit on the bed or nothing. No homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed. But it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. Man, you, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it and you did it. No, no, no. I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting in the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just going to... If we can, just let's, let's just put the camera a little this way just so we're not... I don't want my shot to even... Like, I don't want it to come close to the bed. At all. I, sh I should look like he fresh off a goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just, uh, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the frosted flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, all for the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early. Now he's one of the richest stars in the world. And I'm Yo, like, what, what the, the did Puff just say? Here? Nobody's going to acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the frosted flakes and we're streaming live. That was stupid. Listen, that was stupid. Listen, having a good time. Yo, are you usher made in the. Hey, yo. I'm a thug. And hopefully Puffy helped me out, you know. <laughs> That's, I, I, I mean, I, that's the first. That's the first I, I've heard about that. That's great, though. That's great. I, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, but, I, <laughs> but I, 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 you acting like, dog, you gay? So Dr. Ruth Puff dancing, right? All of a sudden, I get this, and then I, I flip the camera this way. There's the me more and some young dude. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know who do this. So I said, I said, Puff, who that? Oh, that's the young cat. I asked him questions. I said, cool. So I, I asked uh, uh, Demi Moore, I said, is it cool if I... She said, sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know, it was, it was probably a wild night. Said, sure. <laughs> so I'm, I watched when they first, mm. you know, got together. So what happened was, I'm following Puff, following Puff, and his parties were, like, amazing. We in Philly one day. I, I fly to Philly. Town car, same business, go up, but Puff say this party, Playboy, this party right here, I see a million and a half dollars. I said, what? You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? I said, you come to my house, I'll throw your party for $400, and it will rival this, not in scale, but the people there, because that's how I started. I started, I was the first social media dude. When I would do stand up, I had cue cards. This is 91, I had cue cards. And I would have people sign and put their pager numbers on it. Uh, and I would call during the week. Yo, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. So I had 800 signatures, wow. 600 women, 200 guys. So it became a floating party. Uh. So when Puff came 
to LA. He said, yo, Playboy, Saturday morning, make that happen. I said, I'm on it. Went into my phones, called 200, because I didn't have a big house, 200 of my best friends, girls that were beautiful, but not tight, but not slutty, you know, just in the daytime, you know, it's daytime. So I'm like, this is my daytime crew, right? He get there, he goes, that's the girl on this movie, and that's the girl on that movie. I said, yeah, we all hang out. We ain't got no money, but we all hang out together. I said, look on the table. Kentucky Fried Chicken, but I put on some nice plates and some cola and a picture of the whole line. And, and, and it was great. He had a great time. And that was that same party that uh, that uh, Pharrell was at. But what I started doing in order to get artists together, I said, Puff, you don't understand. When we watch you from, from New York, you're bigger than life to us. Mm -hmm. I said, so the million and a half dollars, yeah, you could do that, but it don't matter. Because the New York fitted baseball cap is how much? Retail. Like $25. $25, right? Yeah. I said, Puff, but on your head? It's priceless, mm -hmm. right? And I said, now watch this. And I played, bong, bong, bing, bong, 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 Gone. <laughs> and it was moments like that. It was like, and then I had a studio in the back. So every time somebody would come mm -hmm. over, I would ask them to drop music there. Puff, Snoop, because I wanted to get in the music business. Mm -hmm. But we also started doing this thing called New Music Hour. Mm -hmm. So any person that came to the house that had a song or could do stand up mm -hmm. with it, you could perform. No one was allowed to boot or nothing like this. Watch who benefited from it. Nick Cannon used to sleep on my couch. Wow. 13 yeah. years old. He'd be in one part of the house. He like, can I go back in there? You can't go back in there. You can't come in here. He'd be like this, like this, right? He slept on the couch. Ed Sharing was the latest. Ed Sharing oh, slept. Wow. Ed Sharing, my new house. Ed Sharing slept on my studio floor for six weeks. Amen. Working on this Six weeks. I'm gonna tell you the ones we, that we that we had. It was amazing. And then I'm gonna go. When Drake hit, mm -hmm. I'm in the Bahamas, baby. I'm in the Bahamas, my sister hit me, my sister, she here, dark skin, always in touch. This Drake, I said, look, I hit the internet. I said, oh, I'm in my robe, I just, I grabbed some wine, I said, just, I forgot to call you on your birthday. Oh, yeah. Sad I said, I gotta find that dude. So Brown finds him, we actually do a song together. But I was watching him and I, I took him on, uh, when the redheaded guy did took over for Jay Leno, oh, Conan. 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 I took him on Conan. I said, yeah. Conan, you don't know who this dude is. I said, his name is Drake and two girls and all. I said, y'all up on it. He about to be the big dude. So when Drake rolled out his thing, his first album, I said, Drake, I'm gonna do a thing for you. My house is called New Music Hour, and I call this on my balcony. Mm -hmm. I want you to come get on my balcony. So what do you mean? I said, don't worry about it. You'll see. Mm -hmm. I said, the SUVs will pick you up, bring you to my house. Now I got a bigger house. It's like 40 acres. Women showed up to the party at three in the afternoon. Bus pulled up. 30 girls get out. Bus pull up. 40 girls get out. Mm -hmm. Crazy. I said, well, ladies, he's not going to be here till like 11 because BET time. Mm -hmm. So we won't be here till 11. We'll, we'll wait. BET time. It was BET because it was the <laughs> BET award. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we got you. We <laughs> No, 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 let me, let me, no, 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 it was the BET Awards that we did, so I said, listen, he ain't gonna be here till 11, so we still setting up, right? By the time he got there, 2,500 people counted wow. in my backyard. When he drove up the driveway, we had a drive-in movie theater poster of him and this artwork, what? the smooth one with the cut, you know, the, uh, the peacoat, the vest, the, 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 the smooth, the mother with the, the shit right, you know what I'm saying? No <laughs> smiles, it's just the mother right. He drive up with all his boys, and, and it's funny when you, before you get your money, everything is too big. Mm -hmm. Like his Letterman jacket was, he was like, oh man, oh, oh man, oh, man, oh. I said, yeah, man. I said, yeah, man. oh man. Dog, I said. Look at the body. Yeah. Oh man. So we did it, I said, I said, hey, I said, hey, I said, hey, Drake. So a few people in the back want to say hi to you. Mm -hmm. we walk nice. around, 2,500 people. We go up on my balcony. Mm -hmm. I said, Drake, now I've done this. Puff was the first one, first major. But now it's you. We want to give you your artist. We want to, because you're going to get enough hate. And there's many mm -hmm. out there that hate, mm -hmm. but the fact to what you're doing right mm -hmm. now. 
And so we do the interview and I hand him the mic and there's all these people down there. And I said, could you just say something to the people? He said, oh man, uh, oh man, what'd I say? I said, man, sing something. He leaned over the balcony. Um, I'm more than just an option. Oh. <sighs> oh. Party shot through the roof. We do that till about four in the morning. Right. Most people leave. We got 200 people left, two or 300 people left. I got a pianist to come around three in the morning, played all the music unplugged, yeah. wrapped his music unplugged, new music hour at that time. We sat and we listened to other rappers rap and other people try to get their thing on. They go to like six in the morning, yeah. wrap it up. Then we moved on to uh, um, Rick Ross. Mm. Did oh, one same okay. situation. Not as many people, but the women. Oh yeah. And, and Puff knew about it. Puff got there early. Yeah. <laughs> and left and left uh, Rick in L.A. because I live outside of. I said, Rick, you better get here. Puff got all the. He about to leave with everybody, and they got three hundred bottles of Syrah. It's crazy. <laughs> and we all. And when he showed up, I told the DJ because I had a DJ in the back. I said, Listen, when Rick show up, just start playing. These is gonna hold me back. These. But don't drop the beat mm. until we walk all the way through the house. When you walk through the house, it's like he had a piccolo. <laughs> and, people was like this. <laughs> and then when he finally got into the studio, Puff was standing on top of the, the, the things with the Ciroc. He boom, it. Crazy. And then we did uh, 2 chains and who else was like <laughs> The Hollywood rituals, everybody sleeping with each other. No sex, no drugs, no love, no party. Just hard work, dedication, preparation, sex, for this If you have a nice car, go for it. Sexual one of oh, his kids. You know is that the crazy selling their souls, their, their dignity? Right. Yeah, but I understand. I understand what you understand. You know, you know, I never had sex. You know that, right? You know that, right? I never had sex. Yeah. I want to find the right girl right. and not just sleep around. Well, that's the thing. What's up? It's Christina Milian. Have a great fight. The profit muscle. And I had a chance to know you. And since I had a chance to know you, I see what kind of good person you were. Boom. That was it. I created that word Kinga, which means we all people are descendants of righteous kings like God. We're the only man in the world who can do handstand push-ups with his fist on concrete. Project, yeah. how do you Kingas subscribe to the Prophet channel? Oh, I got you.